Hello, welcome to um, part one of sewing up our green style creations embrace sports bra. Um, this is going to be fun because I love the look of this bra, the way that it's layered in the back. And it's a little different than what we've done before. Um, there are some options that you can do, like the keyhole that we've done in um, the Colby. So I won't be doing that with this bra, but if you are wanting to do a keyhole and want some tips and tricks on how to do that, um, definitely check out our Colby, uh, Petite Stitchery Colby Brawlet Sew Along because we um, do the keyhole there. Um, but I will be doing the layered back portion of it. Uh, so we'll have that kind of difference in there. But I'm really excited. This is going to be fun. This is our last, I think this is our last sports bra. I think after this, we move out of leggings and sports bras and we get into, <laughs> into some other things. I um, I don't know. I just got, I was in a, in a kick, in a mood, I guess, when I planned this out. But I'm so excited because now my drawers are full of amazing leggings and amazing bras that I feel comfortable in and I love. So yay. I hope yours are too. All right, so before we get started, um, I just want to go over the pieces that you're going to need. So if you are sewing the same options as I am, which I'm doing um, a solid front and then the layered back, um, I like, I considered doing the colored black front, but I just like the look of the solid front with the layered back a little bit better. So if you're doing that, you are going to need a back razor, razor back piece. Um, in your main and your lining fabric. Isn't this fabric so cute? This is the rainbow gradient we have. And then this is, um, I believe this is the Emmy. Or no, sorry, not the Emmy. What's, but um, I will link these in the description because they're amazing. They're super cute and they complement each other so well. You're also going to need a front or a U-back, back and lining. So here's my line, my back, and here's my lining. So it's a little different than my eraser back. And you'll need a front main and lining. You're going to also need a waistband and elastic. So check the elastic cut charts for that. You'll also need two pieces of binding if you're doing um, the U back and the eraser back. So you'll need to cut both of those. And then we're going to need some clear elastic as well which the clear elastic always, it's either great or it's terrible. So we'll find out how that goes. All right, now with this bra, there are so many options. But what I really love is that if your um, bust measurements are four inches um, separate, so, um, you know, four inches bigger. So if you're um, under bust and your main bust, are four inches difference, you, they have an automatic piece in there, in the words today are difficult. They have pieces already in the pattern for um, creating darts. And then if you need a full bust adjustment, so I believe if it's seven inches or more, um, let me just make sure I'm saying that number correct. Um, the full bust adjustment pieces. Yeah, so four to seven inches, you'll want an under dust bar, under bust dart. Seven to 10 inches, you'll want a full bust adjustment. But the awesome thing is that this already has the full just full bust adjustment pieces in there. So you don't have to try and figure it all out on your own, which I absolutely love. Um, Cause I know that that can be really intimidating and hard. So to see that the pattern already has it in there is like, whew, you know, super nice. So, I do need um, the underbust darts. So we're gonna do those pieces first. And um, just like in, uh, there we go. Just like with um, the other darts that we've done before, let's get this up. All we need to do here, we should have marked it on our pattern pieces. And then we're just gonna put right sides together, making sure those start markings line up and then we're going to sew along the line here. I'm just going to use a straight stitch um, but if you're worried about it you can use a stretch stitch. 
I haven't had a dart bust open on me before, so I'm fine with straight stitches. Um, but it's kind of preference, really. Um, we do want to make sure that we go backwards, that we really lock those stitches in. I like to do it just a couple of times. If you're wondering what all the beeping is, I'm not using my foot pedal, so. Okay, and then I'll just go backwards. Lock those stitches in. One more time. All right. So here we have our first dart. Just a nice little small dart. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and secure that close with just a little tiny basting stitch. Um, I'm not even gonna really change my length because it's gonna be right on the seam allowance there. So. so what I did is I just folded it in half and closed it right up there so that when I go to sew it on, it's not gonna try and wiggle around on me or move. Okay, and then same thing with the other side. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that's all lined up. Forward a couple, backwards a couple, forward a couple, backwards a couple again, because why not? And I'm just gonna flip backwards. One more. All right. And the same thing, we're going to just open it so that it's right in the middle. It's even on it both sides. It's just a tiny little dart, nothing too big. And we're just going to secure it to the end here. Um, you can take this to your iron as well and iron those down. Um, not a terrible idea. I'm just choosing that too. Cool. All right, so that was our main. We need to just do the same thing on our lining pieces. So just matching those markings up. And then just opening it so that it's even on either end of that part that we just sewed, the line that we sewed. Let's go ahead and just quickly attach it. All that's going to do is make sure when we go to put the band on that this doesn't try and flop to one side or the other, that it's going to be nice in the middle. And then one more. This attaching it, that's just what I'm doing on my own. It's not in the instructions. So if you don't want to do it, that's okay. You don't have to. All right. So now that we added our darts in, let's finish up our, our front. And then um, tomorrow we'll move on to our back. So if you're doing the color block option, this is where you want to um, add the front and the back color block pieces together. 
since I'm not doing that, we're just going to move on move right on ahead. Um, also, if you wanted to add um, bra cups, this would be where you'd want to do it. You'd want to do it, <clears throat> pardon me, um, you'd want to mostly attach them to the layer side because you don't want the stitches to show on the front. Um, but the way that they explain to do it is a little different than what I've seen before, where um, you actually put the garment together and then try it on and then see where they fit. Um, that's typically what I prefer to do if I'm adding bra cups, just because I want to make sure that they're, you know, not all bra, not all boobs are in the same place. I can't believe I'm saying this. Anyways, to make sure it's in the right area. Oh, my word almighty. Okay. So now we need to attach our elastic, though. Um, using a zigzag stitch, so flat, clear elastic to these two edges. I'm going to... It doesn't really say to do it on the liner or on the... Um, on the main fabric. So I'm wondering... Leave the front lining in the front with the right side to the stitch arm. I'm, I'm skipping all over the place. Okay. That's why it doesn't say. All right. What we need to do now is we're going to take... I'm going to move over to my searcher for a second. If you're using a regular sewing machine, just make sure you're using a stretch stitch. Um, zigzag, triple stretch, lightning, up to you. But what we need to do now is we need to put our main and our lining right sides together. And we're just gonna sew right along the arm here. So starting at the top of the shoulder down over the arm to attach the main and lining together there. Um, it is a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Make sure all the raw edges are nice and lined up. Sometimes I do a sew along and I'm like, oh yeah, I got this, no problem. And sometimes I'm like, oh my goodness, why am I so nervous? <laughs> I don't know, I know all of it. All right, so same thing for the other side. We're gonna put our main and lining right sides together. And then starting at the top of the shoulder, just sewing down to the other corner here. So we're not sewing across the shoulder at all. We're just sewing down the arm. Okay, and now that we've got those attached that way, it makes more sense on how to sew the elastic on. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our clear elastic and we need to start it 3 8 inches from the um, top and end it 3 8 inches before the side seam. So I'm just going to measure out. This ruler is so old, the markings are starting to wash off, which is fine for the most part, but um, for measurements I don't always use, like three inches, I need a little bit more. One, two, three eight inches is right there. So I'm just going to mark that with a little erasable. a uh, heat erasing pen and then we'll mark the three eight inches on the other side just so we know exactly where to stop three right here and then while we've got the ruler out let's just go ahead and do the other side too so three eight inches one two three Three 
All right. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to just kind of stretch my elastic a couple of times before I use it because I want to make sure that it doesn't try and stretch when I go to do it. And then we're just going to attach starting at that first three eight inch mark. Um, you want to do it, I think it says three inch, three eight inches away from the upper edge. Okay, yeah. So we're just going to attach it right there and then kind of pin it in a couple more places so it doesn't want to wiggle and wiggle and wobble on us. And then down, when I get to this other 3 8 inch mark, I'm going to just go ahead and clip my elastic. And then... Clip that in. Then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. I like to wait to cut my elastic until I have it on because sometimes if it's off just a little bit, it can get pretty frustrating and then you have to cut it again. Because um, this elastic, we're not going to stretch it when we sew it. So we want to make sure that it's a good one-to-one -one and that we've stretched it a little bit before we start. Go ahead and trim that. You can always trim it a little bit bigger and then um, clip it when you get to, when you after you sew it on to if you need to. Just make sure though that you don't stretch when you're sewing it. All right. And now we are going to use a zigzag stitch to attach this on. And I really do recommend a zigzag stitch for this because um, if you miss just a little bit, the zigzag stitch will make sure that it's on, um, that it's secure. So that's zigzag stitches are, I don't always like them, but they're good for things like this. Cause this is such a small, a thin piece of elastic. We wanna make sure it's good and we're gonna slow this down a bit. And we're just gonna make sure that we're not stretching at all. machine, just speed it right through. And then I'm actually sewing it right on my serger seam, the edge of my serger seam there, so that I kind of have a guide there. sure that none of my fabric is folding under it. I don't want to accidentally zigzag stitch something else to it. There we have our clear elastic zigzagged onto our first arm. What this is gonna do is this is just gonna help hold everything up. So it's gonna give it a little bit extra oomph, which um, I didn't put clear elastic in some of my other bras and I kind of wish I would have. So, all right. It's like, no thanks. Add it too close to the edge. It keeps getting hung up on that same point. 
because I have a nice little nest in there. Mm. Sorry. Alrighty. We'll just start you a little bit further on. There we go. I think I just tried to go too fast. Right away. There we go. have our the front of our bra is now of our embrace is now done we've got the clear elastic in we've got our darts in tomorrow we are ready to start our back um, and then we will be adding our band and, and attaching it all together so yay I will see you tomorrow when we um, work on our backs and yeah, um, I can't wait to see what you create this week. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you then. Bye.